Hi everybody, I'm with Whole Berton School Puerto Rico co-founders, um, Adam Ruiz, a serial entrepreneur, and actually just released a book. Um, and we want to discuss about it. I will share in the story the cover and the link to it so that you can check it out and buy it. Yes. <laughs> That'd be great. So Adam, can you tell us what, what the book is about? Sure. The book is uh, it's called Silicon Valley Stories. And uh, it pretty much covers uh, my 20 years in Silicon Valley, some of the startups I did, starting in 1996 with a search engine company called Ink to Me, uh, and then up to a company called Sensornet that I uh, created uh, pretty much my last company before I left Silicon Valley and moved to Puerto Rico. Great. So what's, what has been your biggest success? So one of the companies in the middle uh, was a company called Trubio. It's a video search company we started in 2004. This was before YouTube. Uh, we knew that video was going to be huge. People did not necessarily believe us at that time. We're like, video on the internet's going to be huge. And they're like, really? Those little posting stamp things? I'm not sure, but, but we were right. Uh, we had some technology, some unique crawler technology that could find video that was not in Google, not in Bing, not in Yahoo at the time. So, so these are videos that nobody could find, but they're crawlers. We patented it, we built it, we built this video search engine called Trubio.com. Uh, you can put a button, compare to Google on the top. Well, right? You type in, well, the <laughs> type in the Daily Show and see our search, see Google search. We were you know, light years ahead, so it was pretty great. Um, and it was success, very quick, right? We worked on the technology for maybe a year. We raised a round of funding at the end of 2004. Uh, around a million dollars, a little bit more. And then uh, it turned out that AOL really wanted this company and they acquired it at the end of uh, 2005. Right, and it was reported to be acquired for 50 million, which is a pretty good- That would be a pretty great return. Right? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, that would be. Quite impressive. Um, so you know, there is a lot of great stories in this book, but maybe there is some more. Is there something, that's a fun story that, that you could share that's yeah. in the book? Yeah, yeah. So one of the companies I cover is a company called Sensornet. Uh, Sensornet was uh, a cloud, still is a cloud uh, surveillance company. We, you, you, you can buy any camera off the shelf and the video can be stored in our cloud. So this is before Nets, this is before uh, Ring, right? We were, again, maybe a little too early. We built this cloud service. Uh, I was part of this event called Mai Tai. It was uh, uh, Bill Tai and Susie Mai, and they had a kite surfing event in Maui every every May. And so we brought together uh, world-class kite surfers, um, uh, tech entrepreneurs, and investors. And so to push my company, I set up this uh, security camera on the beach, like on a tripod uh, with like a camera, and it was all kind of jury-rigged up into 3G network. We were recording in the cloud. And you know, I would hang around when I wasn't kiting, and people would come by and go, what, what is this crazy thing on the beach? And it turns out Elon Musk came by. And uh, at that time, I had the Roadster, uh, which I had bought with my Trivial receipts. <laughs> uh, a Tesla Roadster, number 97, by the way. Uh, and then we had just put down and paused on the Model S. And uh, they were talking about how it's going to have this big panel and all the controls are going to be on the panel. And I told them, I don't think that's going to work because you know, people are going to look at the panel and they're going to run off the road. I said, don't worry, we're going to have touch controls on the, on, the, on, the, on the steering wheel and it'll be okay. And so I have this, I actually have some images from that video. Uh, still, and it's on my Facebook, and I should actually maybe I should give it to you. Yeah, you, know, you can put it on this uh, video. Yeah, okay. So yeah. we shall we'll some... add Elon to that. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So we like this on Instagram, and he's he's a, still a big fan of Tesla. Actually. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we went around and uh, actually dr drove Neo to the airport. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so I have, and I had to, Neo was hopping out of the car, and uh, right immediately people started yelling Neo, Neo, and they jumped out of the car and took pictures. And I'm like, thank goodness my car was clean, right? Because there's there's Neo and his manager and people taking pictures. Okay, all right, that worked out. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> the last thing, you know, you are like serial entrepreneur, very uh, successful, uh, also um, great at cater, yeah. <laughs> apparently. So yes. if, you're, if um, you know you need some class, like he's a guy to go. Yeah, yeah. Um, give some tips. Do you have any tips for entrepreneur? Like, what is the big thing, the big learning of you know, I think, all of this? I think what people forget is, is they don't leverage their network enough, right? And so you, you really need to get out and talk to people, talk to your friends, talk to other entrepreneurs, find other people doing similar things, maybe not the exact same startup, pitch them so that they can get friendly feedback, um, leverage your network for investors. I think people forget about their network. And I think that's another great thing about Holberton, right? Is Holberton, you know, we got three cohorts per year. 
we're, we're, we've got a lot of people with your local network. Uh, they're all connected to their world nationwide and their other other Holburton campuses in the, in the country and, and internationally. So I think I think people need to realize that you can leverage these people. People love to help, right? It's you, you ask for advice, and, and uh, I think that's the best thing. It's leverage your network, ask for advice, and and don't just sit in your cube and write code all day, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, that's what we said all about. And our skills are great, but soft skills are actually the most important thing that you need to to master as a professional. And you know. According to how this dude is, is successful, I think we should listen to him. Yes, <laughs> yes, love your network. <laughs> All right, thank great. You. Thank you.